another thing we have to deal with as Microsoft 365 administrators is uh, discovery for legal cases. And Microsoft Purview has some tools available for e-discovery. So let's talk about how we can create a case. And then in subsequent videos, we're going to talk about doing a content search and creating a hold on, on content in Microsoft 365 for that uh, e-discovery for the legal proceeding. So I'm going to start here. I'm in Microsoft Purview. And I'm going to go to View Solutions. And from Solutions, I want to find eDiscovery right here. So I'm going to click on eDiscovery. And in order to be able to do this, you have to make sure you have the appropriate permissions. So that may be you as a Microsoft 365 administrator or maybe somebody that you've delegated to by adding them to a specific role. So once we have, this is going to give us a list of all of our cases. And you'll notice we don't have any right now. So I'm going to click on Create a Case. And we're going to give it a case name, and I'm just going to call it Demo as a simple name. We're going to put the case description and then click Create. Now, obviously, you're going to want names that are descriptive because you may have more than one legal proceeding going on at any given moment. So this will take a minute, and it will create the case for us. Now, once the case is created... Then we can start working with the case, including doing searches for content and setting hold policies in place. But we'll talk about those in subsequent videos. But for the moment, let's take a look at our case settings. So here in our case settings, on our first tab is our case details. So we can put the case number, uh, normally the legal case number that you're working with or a case description. And then this is a current case status. Right here under actions is how we will close a case and delete a case. Typically, you're going to want to close it first. Make sure that uh, everything is done. You only delete the case when you no longer need to reference back to anything related to it. Okay, so we have our... Uh, options for the case and then we also have our permission so who do we have who has access to this and this might be specific users or specific role groups either way i'm going to add a user to this case real quick i'm going to add harry potter to the case and i'm going to click add and so it'll take a second and it will add harry potter i'm here because i i created it so i get added to the case automatically and now harry potter is working on this case for us as well same thing if you're going to add role groups rather than just a user. Now, the next big thing is your data sources. So the permissions is who gets a chance to access the case, work with it, perform the e-discovery, whatever they need to do. The second one is going to be data sources. So where do we want to capture data from? What is it that – what data sources – could be subject to being searched or being held based on this particular case. So these are three options, all people and groups, including unlicensed on-prem and guest users, all people and groups, including shared teams channels, all people and groups, including departed users. And so we can pick the ones that we want and then click apply. And that will set the data sources for the case. The search and analytics, this is going to be a little bit of technical information. Do we want to allow near duplicates to what we're searching for, or does it have to be an exact search? Are there any themes? Do we want to search for specific themes? How many themes? Um, if near duplicates are enabled, what percentage do we want? How close does it have to be of a match? And do we want to create a generated query named for review? Minimum number of words, maximum number of words. So you can set all of this for your search and analytics, or we can do some search, or we will do some searching elsewhere. And then review sets. Do we want to allow grouping for review sets or not? Some of this will make a little more sense once you actually start working with cases. So I'm going to go ahead and head back here, and that's going to take me to my search. So I'm already in my demo case. So now I have searches and holds. But let's do this. Let's, no pun intended, put that on hold for a minute. And we're going to do this in a couple of subsequent videos.